the road in Jackson County. Ground ball to short. Backhand field over the first in time for the out. That was a – didn't look like much. That was a really good play, right? Top five in the Atlantic Coast Conference. A one is popped up. Tough play again there. The shortstop will go back and get it. Whatever coach asks of her to get into the lineup. But she just makes something happen at the play, and here yeah. she gets on with a leadoff walk. She's a clutch hitter for Georgia. She puts the ball in play. Yep. When needed, she makes something happen, and doing her job here getting aboard as the leadoff. Huge to hit the ball over. <laughs> so Got a target. Here's something that's going to be sent on a target. That ball is out of here. A two-run home run here in the first for Sarah Mosley. As she'll make the trot around her sixth of the season, Georgia takes a 2-0 lead. Thank you, that. Field. Yeah, I mean, talk about a spread chart. Um, you're looking at just power. To be able to pull a ball, pull a side, and then be able to go with it opposite field. I mean, that's that's some good. Down through nothing, but you can throw some strikes here as this one's hit back up the middle to the shortstop. She'll field the first in time for the first down of the inning. And that's going to bring up Jaden Field. See if you can get her swinging at two and one. This one's popped off the handle. It'll go to left center, and that's where Edgman will make the catch. And that's the second out of the inning. When you have kids that can be versatile, when you, you know, can put them um, anywhere, and then they <laughs> can do that, you know. The speed of Chambly, that left fielder, at the top of the lineup, so there was a lot of hit and runs, bunt, bunt your way aboard, throw down to second. Ooh, that's uh, a what throw. a cannon there off of Hunter. She'll yeah. tag out Chambly at second. Coach Eileen Morales earlier this week, and that's one thing she was really proud of this squad is how gritty they are. Nothing's been easy. And, yeah, some good of a player she is as she'll look at the 3-1. Liner, double play. Yeah, double play for Georgia as the line out throw out at first. It'll be an L4-3 in the scorebook. Come back. Another strikeout, throw them out at first. And Georgia will go one, two, three here in the second. Back to back innings. Something. Another hit and run opportunity. Throw to first as Armistead will be thrown out. Yeah, I think his first year with softball. At yeah, I think it's like, it, it's a huge advantage, you know, because you imagine the opposite of that playing with people you don't know, yeah. you know? And I think that that's hard. You know, you talk about communication, you talk about, you know, because that's going to be your bread and butter um, to figure out, hey, what do I need to do right now? What makes the most sense for me? Um, Settle down inning here for Nelliman. How everything's going to shake up, and I think that's what makes um, those games super competitive. Hunter pops this one up. Lindy Ray Davis calls for it, and she'll make the catch. Back is the 0-2. Will hit and run back to her. A quick snap up there to field that one over to first. Kind of come in and cover that pitcher pitcher circle. Um, so I love it. I love when pitchers can fill their position. Saleo pops this one to Kuma. One, two, three here in the third, four. Okay. A four-pitch walk here for Lindy Ray Davis. Second straight plate appearance that she has reached via walk. A foul home run to left field, and then she hit one to right field. So I think um, that was a – looked like an out at first base, but that one's bobbled by Black at third. Pitchers are executing on the mound. Popped up. This one will drop in. Stop sign thrown up for Davis at third. The bases will be loaded with nobody out as Jane Curdy. Smash between you and the pitcher, like. Yeah. I bounce her. The play is at home for one. That'll be the only one that they can get. So a fielder's choice for. Your, your possibilities. So I would look for something that I can barrel up and. Double play defensively for the Good Yellow play. Jackets. Great job there. 
hard instead of trying to be super, you know, analytical this and this and this, and, you know, we just want to hit um, this way and that way. I think just getting in there and crushing the ball is, you know, a good goal to have. Um, and then obviously when the time is – when the time there, it's a process for two, three, four years of getting better and creating, you know, a high standard for yourself as an athlete, as a person, as a teammate to see day one and then where you are now, year four, year five for some of these girls and um, be like, dang, I did that, you know. Pop to center, another one, two, three inning here for Lily Backus. We had the late. Two one is grounded to second. Ground ball to short. Quick two outs here for Georgia Tech. Gabby there in that eight spot as a freshman. Yeah. Popped up. This one to Ryan Field. Outstretched arm there. Uh, Vukadinovic will retire the side. One, two, three in the fourth. It was a hard, something hard. Um, obviously a strike. So she's going right at him. Diving catch by Mosley coming in from third. Swung on and missed for strike three. Yeah, I think that was the first ball that she threw, the one that hit off somebody. <laughs> Ground ball back to the pitcher. Oh, another one, two, three inning for Lily Backus. <laughs> and that'll be a lead off walk for Dallas Goodnight. Now you get to go back to the top of the order here with this Georgia lineup. Yeah. She's got wheels at first base. She may take off at any time. This one is popped up to left. Dobbins comes over, a quick throw back into the infield. So yeah. we'll see what she does here on the 3 2. Is she going to do it again? <laughs> she sends this one to right center. It's gone. <sighs> well, she had a look after she fouled that one off. They're like, yeah, that's not mad. happening again. And back to back. <laughs> she's just hit. like in the first, the foul ball and then the home run. She's hit four home runs and two at bats. <laughs> Three at bats. I mean, that's that's good hitting, you know, to be able to focus and get a good pitch. And to go opposite, that's, that's crazy. But as a pitcher, I mean, that ball's over the white, but it's 3-2 count, you know, pass the bat and let somebody else do it. This one lifted to right. This one will sit off the wall. Kearney turning. She'll go to second standing. And it's a one-out double for Jada Kearney leaving some of them over the white. One out walk here for Sydney Kuma. In there, it's a different ball game. This one's lifted to right field, giving Chase that ball into the glove. As Vuka Denovic goes to the wall to make the catch. Popped up to short. And that'll do it here in the fifth, but two more runs off the bat of Sarah Mosley. And this one back up the middle for a base hit. That'll be the second base runner of the contest for Jordan. One, two, off the end of the bat on the run, making the catch is Chambly in left field, and they'll chase the runner. Great. They can use the ground, bunt, you know, move runners. Outside throw to second. And out at second is Gracie Hillman. Mm. And they're going to say she's out. Swing and a miss.
And that'll do it here in the great athletes as well. So Here's Armistead sending this one to left. Dobbins will track it down. In, in, in making the most of these opportunities that she does get. Oh, making maybe the most of this one. This ball is out of here. Tyler Ellison, her first career home run. I mean, that, that's what you want to do when you get an opportunity. Most of it. Here's a 3 2. Here, and I think, I don't think you give up. I don't think you, you know, you have a whole game to play, and there's still things to learn. There's still things to come away with, and, um, but there's not a lot you can do with walks, you know, as, as a defense. Well, Sarah Mosley popped up. Coming in from right field and making the catch is Ruka Dinovich. Good job, obviously, producing runs, but I think getting on base, walks, hits, and then cleaning up with home runs. And that's huge. That's a huge out. Swung on and missed there for strike three. Gets out of the jam. Oh, man, get on your feet. We went to a football game, and I got chills all over my it. body when the trumpet soloist played. So I think that was it. That but was it. Yeah, I think that did it for me. Tonight, so it's even more challenging. Well, she'll reach. That streak will continue. It's a hit, just. This one is sent to left, and this one's going to find the wall. Getting waved around is Edgman coming around is Allen. Both will score, and Georgia Tech plates its first two runs of the contest. Well, both on-base streaks will live <laughs> for another day. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what you want as Georgia Tech. That's what – like, be aggressive. You know, be why not swing? And then you got great base running. You go from first to, first to home. You go three bases. Yeah, a strike them out, throw them out, one away. Yeah, that's a way to come in and yep. get an out. Popped up, in play. Tailing back is Armistead, two out. Popped up, going back for it is good night. And Georgia has a good night as the Dogs defeat the Jackets six to three in clean old fashioned hate. Number five, Georgia will now move to 21 and three on the season, 15 and one here at Jack Turner Stadium, and will set its sights on the SEC play opener here this weekend against Alabama. But competitive game between these two.